Sevens game, anything can happen in the 14 minutes. But Fiji tops, uh, well, only a point difference between the two sides uh, separating them in, in Pool C. Mares Fenerbahce blows the whistle to start this Pool C encounter. Canada in the red, playing from right to left. That hasn't travelled 10 metres, and that's not the way you want to start against Fiji. Don't give them free possession. So the tap and go comes from Jerry Tuwai. Fiji, such patience in the way that they play the game. Nothing is hurried about them at all until they make the line break. And then Apisai Dumalailai heads for the line, but uh, the referee will bring them back. Yeah, good covering there from Justin Douglas. And it was a touchline winning that mini battle. But just showing his pace is Dumalailai. So Canada deep in their own 22, but a lovely step there. And now there's an opportunity for the Canadians. Lucas Hammond is brought down, but it is available. Advantage being played, I think, for the knock-on. Down goes Connor Trainer, And Canada just being closed down. You see the options very quickly run out against Fiji. Here's Trainer again. And once again, just nowhere to go for the ball carrier. Sean Duke on this occasion. But a penalty against Fiji. You're not a tackler. No. That's not a bad decision. I went going for the line out. You've got to, especially in the conditions. Yeah, it's a bit of windy in PE. One of the ways to get up field, use the boot. Seen teams earlier on and today just being pinned down half, unable to break through. Ball retention is good. They're making the passes, but just can't get upfield. Putting the ball in is Lucas Hammond. He's the scrum half in this Canadian side. Scything tackle coming in from Savanaka Rawaka. And that's what they look to do all the time. Keep the ball in the air. And so it'll be use it or lose it. It is lose it. That's <laughs> rather stunned expression from Douglas, <laughs> Justin Douglas. Yeah, very clear, clear the laws of the game. In the air, team taking it in will lose it. A big question here will be maybe the offside line, but not really. I think all is legit held up by Fiji. Now Fiji trying to work something. This is uh, Rawatha heading towards the halfway line. Canada all spread out in the defensive line. Fiji will look to break that line. A little bit of stepping, and there goes that break. It's uh, Isaki cannot Katonimbao. Now the playmaker Jerry Tuai. Bit of space out there for Apisai Domolailai. Canada fighting hard, but they've committed a lot of troops and a couple of missed tackles and this is what happens this is surely going to be a score it's not he's brought down two meters short turnover ball for canada what can they do here in trouble by their own line justin douglas has it they'll come back for the knock on and it looked very much as if semi kunatani was going to score there but he couldn't get across the line i think he's done himself a mischief yeah it's misfortune there for fiji stay down coming second best in that collision semi kunatani but impressed so far with the defensive effort of canada they only missed the one tackle eight tackles on offer so far here comes the stretcher is the coach ben ryan of course a former uh, england player and coach he is a real character and, and part of the Walls HSBC World Series. Just landed awkwardly. Good stuff from Justin Douglas. Taking the ball, Douglas. Just 
hit it awkwardly hard in the shoulder. Yeah. Elbow or shoulder, I would I would think looking at that replay, might have just uh, dislocated. Well, it's uh, a physical game at the highest level, is sevens. Now we might see, there's the elbow hitting the deck. Ow. Yeah, he's had to knock himself out on the shoulder, his own shoulder. The tackle was definitely a good one from Justin Douglas. So it's obviously some form of concussion, and therefore they will strap him. Also precautionary, just looking after the welfare, the well-being of the players. Now watch this, this is putting a player into the recovery position, and that is excellent from the Canadians. something that you do see in the brotherhood of rugby it's a it's a game where no quarter is asked or given but when somebody's in trouble there is always help now and you you get around you've been in italy recently you've uh, you've been in wales enjoying yourself going around the world yeah, it's been outstanding. Uh, I think the way just being able to, to follow the, the spring box as we confirm some of, of the points on offer so far. Remember the build up as well and accumulating points that contributes to, to, to the Olympic Games in Rio 2016, which has just been a huge and a great step forward for the Sevens game. Yes, end of this season, the top four teams on the standings will automatically qualify for Rio 2016. That's a, an enormous carrot dangled. Brazil, you see at the bottom of that list, are automatically in because they are the host nation for Rio 2016. And then at the moment, if we were to stop now, Fiji, South Africa, Australia and New Zealand would all automatically qualify. And the teams below them are fighting hard to get into that top four. So Semi Kunatani is off the field and we won't be seeing him again in this game. We wish him all the best. Game restarts with Canada in trouble in front of their own line. Lucas Hammond was held on the ground. And now here comes Connor Trainer. And seeing that there's nobody at home, that's not a bad tactic from Trainer. Now it becomes a foot race. Chasing back for Fiji is Tuwai. Oh, a lovely stepping from him. Two wide, sending it wide. Oh! That must have been very, very marginal. Extremely marginal. Great footwork. From two wide, just couldn't get the pass away. Good recovery, goes back. There's the step. The numbers on the outside. Let me look at this pass. Yeah. Well, you, you got to look at the hands, definitely it goes backwards. I think an incorrect call there from the referee. Here you go, Fiji then, building from their own half. That's a lovely little offload. Two I oh dear, that's a basic error from Nasoni Rojo. You don't see many of those from him. No advantage for the knock. Yeah, no excuse for that. Knock on in the bread basket, took his eyes off the ball. Sony Rocco. Ben Ryan couldn't believe that. <laughs> Sony Rocco, he's the most experienced of all the Fijians, 34 years old now. Fine. Crouch. Fine. It seems like this game's been going on a long, long time. We've still got a minute and ten left in the first half. No score. 
the longer it stays like that, the more there must be a chance of an upset. Canada on the ball through Sean Duke. That's a big, big tackle on Duke. And turnover ball. Brilliant work from Tuai. Lovely stepping from him. And this is going to be the opening score. Jerry Tuai. Shows a lot of pati patience with ball in hand there, Fiji. Thought as we approach the end of the first half, there'll be no score. A simple dummy. And Jerry Tuai, the try scorer for Fiji. But Canada were pleased with their efforts in the first uh, first half, just to be in the hunt against Fiji. Yes. Tuai converts his own try, 7-0 to Fiji. Half time against France in their opening game, it was 7 5, but they ran away with it in the second half, and two I scored twice in that second half against France. So there is the full time uh, on the first half hooter, but the rules of the competition means that the game will get underway again. And is that going to go 10? It has not. So the game continues with a free kick on the center dot and this is a real danger position for teams if they can get it right from here trainer has spotted some space on that right hand side bit of uh, pace on the outside from adam zaruba canada working their way into a bit of space here Somebody needs to just straighten the line. Now it's in the hands of Justin Douglas. Penalty against Fiji. So this first half continues. The tap and go from Lucas Hammond. They're starting to work some space here. Connor Trainer back to Hammond. They've got a four on two. That's a clever little pass taken by John Moonlight, the captain. He gets the pass away to Justin Douglas. And there we are. Conversion to come. And that's in the second minute of extra time in this first half, and we could have the game wrapped up at seven apiece. He once again showed so much patience. Canada had ball in hand, kept to the line. The half-time Hooter had gone. He carried on playing. Justin Douglas, the try scorer. Lining up the conversion now is Kieran Hearn, and this is absolutely crucial kick. A major win for Canada if they could go into the half-time break all square with Fiji. It's a good-looking strike, and he's got it. There we go. Well, what a half of rugby that has been. A long hiatus for a nasty injury, but in between, some super play. And as Owen Okamani mentioned, the defensive play of Canada is what has kept them in this contest. And at the break, it's Fiji 7, Canada 7. So, second half of back to get underway. It'll be Canada playing from left to right on your screens in the second half. Game is wrapped up at seven apiece. Fiji will kick off and everything to play for. Over. 
That's a beautiful take in mid-air from Misaki. Ketonimbao, he gets the pass away, and what a start to the second half with uh, Chasa Veramalua scoring for Fiji, and immediately they are ahead. Yeah, it's heavily done. Regaining the kick off Fiji, keeping that ball alive. A very direct this time around in their ways. And a good finish from ja Chasa Veramalau. Veramalua. His, his first touch because he only came on at half time. Now the conversion is good, and Fiji lead now by 14 points to seven. From the kickoff, and what's kept Canada alive in that first half, let them down earlier on. That's their defense. Now, the restart kick, which is where it all went wrong for Canada. This time, it again had Fiji in the hands on it, but it comes back on the Canadian side. It's taken by Kieran Hearn, one of the experienced players. Well, they've got a bit of space out wide here, Canada. That's gone forward. Referee gives the scrum to Fiji. John Moonlight, number four, is the captain. Yeah, he won't be pleased with that pass. Idea was good, the space was on the outside. Look to leave the pressure point. Liam Middleton, the former Zimbabwean international, now coaching Canada. Fine. Sit. Nice little reverse pass there from Tuwai. Now it's taken by Rocco. And Rocco's away. He's being hunted down and he looked up desperately for a support runner. Couldn't find one. It's still available for Fiji. A little show from Isaki Katonimbao. And now Tuwai. Oh, he is so elusive. That's a brilliant pass. And that is a super score from Katonimbao. The 31 year old. Yeah, running the clock down now. He finally dots it down. Two wide uh, creator for Fiji. Far better performance in the second half from Fiji. But look at that pass, the backdoor pass. Well weighted. Support coming from depth. Third try for Fiji. Conversion is good. And Fiji have a 14-point lead suddenly. There's the magic, there's that pass from Jerry Tuai. Saxon, two defenders. Great pace from Katoni Bao. Well, he's a lieutenant in the Fijian army. And wherever they play these days, you see the Fijian flag. Looked as if it may have gone forward. No, referee has ruled it's gone backwards off a of Fijian hand. Moonlight has it for Canada. Canada, if they're going to get back into this game, have got to score quickly. Canada managed to secure position. Down on the ground, Sean Duke has to throw the 50 50 ball, and now it's gone forward. And while we wait for the scrum, let me tell you that Semi Kunitani, who we saw go down injured in the first half, has sustained concussion. He will not take any further part in the tournament here in Port Elizabeth. But uh, other than that, he is fine. Fine. Sit. Fine, it's unfair detaching. Good pass, scrum. Holding. Boys, he was on the ground, no well, Canada just seem to have lost their mojo a little bit here. They've got to try and make something happen there. In order to do that, they've set up the line out. And if they can win this and drive and score, then they've got to do it all again to try and earn a draw. It's not straight. Not straight. Option. Two options there for Fiji, Come take down. a scrum or the line out. 
And after this option, the only other option they got is a free kick. If a line out is not in straight. Crouch. Fine. Sit. Two I starts it all again for Fiji. One more score here will kill off the game. Taking it on is Savenaka Rawatha. Throws the hallelujah pass. Nowhere to go for Tuai. He does well to keep the ball alive. Now it's taken by uh, Wakatabu. Chances here on the left hand side. They decide to go through the middle. That's beautifully done. They've worked the extra man. Apisai Domalailai will score what will definitely be the winning try. Such a pleasure to watch when the Fijians really get into gear. The handling skills, the awareness of space as well. One of the best in the sevens game. Domalala is, is a finisher, but look how much creativity goes into this try. Very calm, the space being created and an easy jog in. It helps when you've got the, the hands the size of dinner plates. <laughs> Conversion attempt is not going to draw in, but it won't matter. Less than 30 seconds left in the game, and Fiji have now wrapped it up. Very much as they did against France, where they were only 7-5 ahead at the break. And in the second half, they ran away with it. They began the second half against Canada with a try straight from the kickoff. Canada will have one more chance to carry the ball, assuming that they field this kick. Well taken in the air by Jack Smith. Fiji continuing to cut down the options for Canada. Big tackle coming in from Chasa Veramalua. Still chances for Canada, but they've got to try and take that ball in field from there somehow. That's gone forward, and that should be the end of the game. It is indeed, and so Fiji have gone on their merry way. They've won both of their two opening games in Pool C. First against France, and now Fiji 26, Canada 7. Well, Pool C has been thrown wide open. Fiji, the only unbeaten team in that pool. And this game between support.